Tonight we introduce to you a brand new series that we are going to bring you every Tuesday night. It's where we introduce you to Hoosiers who are making a difference. Tonight we introduce you to a firefighter being thanked by a mother. Not for what he did in responding to an emergency, but for the amount of time he devoted to giving them a place to live. Eyewitness News Sunrise anchor Bruce Kopp tonight begins our series with a man who is giving back to the community on and off the job. Steve Adams has served nearly 23 years as an Indianapolis firefighter, but he's devoted a large amount of spare time to helping others. We started in uh, early spring of last year, and it was very uh, overgrown. This used to be an abandoned house, unlivable and on the verge of demolition. It, it's the start. Um, you do one house, uh, and it gets bigger, and as they can grow, they can impact uh, many other families uh, help revitalize the area. The rehabilitation of this home was completed last February. Now Miranda Parker and her three children have an affordable place to live. It's really amazing. It's much better than I thought it would be. I, I was surprised that they had taken a house and made it look like this when it was done. Just to know that uh, three kids have a nice warm place to to live and stay and to see the kids, uh, the joy to know that they were having, that this is going to be their new home. Steve was one of several volunteers who devoted about a year's worth of time in rehabbing this home. The project was organized by the local nonprofit called Hearts and Hands. It's so gratifying to see somebody take such ownership of a house and say, hey, I want to do this. And he brought in other people and it's just that kind of commitment is what helps us do more in this area. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to Steve and for all the people who are here in the neighborhood of trying to really turn this area around. Steve's 950 hours of volunteer work has earned him a community service award from Mayor Greg Ballard. Very humbling, uh, very neat. Uh, I was honored to get that. Uh, did not know that I was being nominated for anything like this. And Steve says just pitching in to repair the home has been rewarding in itself. On the west side, Bruce Kopp, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And thank you, Bruce. Every week, Bruce will feature a person who is making a difference. It can be a group that's featured, too. If you know someone or a group of people who are making a difference in your community, make sure we hear from you. You can use the hashtag Making a Difference on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram to get in touch.